Good evening guys, welcome back to the Whiskey Dude channel. I'm Whiskey Matt, and tonight I'm going to be doing a review on some samples that Antonio from Whiskey Quest sent me. Um, this is the second sample in the four sample series that I'm going to be reviewing. Tonight I'm reviewing a small batch distillery out of Wisconsin called Driftless, Gr Driftless Glen Rye. And um, according to the bottle here, it says it's 48% alcohol by volume, and it's the second batch in its series, um, 96 proof. In this review, I'm going to give you a brief history about the distillery, uh, and then what I think it smells like and tastes like. I'm going to be adding a little bit of water to see if that um, changes the flavor profiles, and, um, and that's going to be probably about it. So let's first talk about uh, this, this rye product. Uh, this rye is a Wisconsin rye. <laughs> it's a small batch uh, distillery, so it's a small mom and pop shop type of uh, operation. They're located on the Bear, I think it's called Baraboo River in Wisconsin. They specifically chose this spot because of the conditions um, it's out in the middle of nowhere. It has good soil, good water, good temperature for distilling. And that's why they named it Driftless Glen um, for their um, brand name. It's a driftless area of Wisconsin, and Glen means valley, so Driftless Valley Distillery kind of basically is what that means. So, yeah, this, um, I think the names of the master distillers or the owners is, uh, Brian and Renee, and, um, I'm going to post the picture up here so you can see them, what they look like. They have a cool picture of their distillery with their little dog and whatever. It looks like a basset hound or bloodhound or something. Pretty cool photo. Um, also, uh, this rye on their website said that it was, uh, distilled at 75% um, rye grain, and then they don't disclose what the remaining mash bill, what is in it. And they say that it was aged in a new oak, a Amer uh, new um, oak um, barrel. So it'll be, I'm, I'm sure it'll probably be pretty tasty. Um, their site was saying that it has a, uh, like a slight uh, spicy slash a fruity flavor profile so we'll see I've poured it out into the cup here so you can kind of see the color and I believe this is a pretty young rye they didn't say how long it was aged for I don't there's no age statement I'm not really sure how long it was aged for but it's got a nice um, caramel looking color as you can see also I want to say um, that um, because uh, Antonio over at Whiskey Quest um, sent me the samples um, I'm gonna uh, show you who he is. I'll put a little video of him and I'll link him in the description so that you can check him out. Super solid dude. Definitely uh, worth uh, subscribing to and uh, checking out his videos. I also sent him some samples, um, so you should check those out. Anyways, let's jump into um, the nosing now of this small batch distillery rye. So. And just sitting here in the glass, I can already get the aromas. I don't have to put my nose deep into it. I can already kind of get the aroma from about here. And I'm not smelling um, pretty much any spices. I'm smelling mostly the oak from the barrel. I'm getting um, uh, the vanilla that comes out in the oak. I'm getting... Um, I'm getting kind of like a toffee. I love toffee. Oh. I'm almost getting um, like almost like a brittle even smell. Oh, I love brittle. <laughs> I love anything sweet. Let's get my nose deep down in there. <coughs> Not too close. <coughs> got a little bit of a strong smell mostly just like what I've just said here it smells good though it's, it's it smells subtle though for, for a rye you know 
let's go for a, a little sip here. Wow. It's, that's a bold, bold kick. Very subtle, but <coughs> strong on the freaking, on the palate, man. It's got a really unique flavor. It's got like, I can't even tell you what that is. And now they said that they do something, they have like a unique distilling process. They said that they use these monster pot stills and they, they do something weird to it. You'll have to jump on their site and see what they're talking about, but they said they have a unique way of distilling. Let me taste again. Cheers. I don't know if it's that river water that they use, but I can taste like... I can taste like the calcium in the water, you know, when you drink like tap water. That's what this tastes like. It tastes like it. it's got like a minerally kind of calcium style water flavor. And then it's got, I taste the vanilla as an aftertaste. The spiciness is, um, it's there, but it's very short. I'm getting kind of like a creamy, custardy kind of aftertaste. And then as far as like the richness is concerned, I would say it's not really rich. It doesn't really coat your mouth. Not really, let me see. No, nah. a little bit dry, dry finish. But it's got like a bite to it. Like it, you can tell it's a young, it's a young rye. Whew, it's a little harsh. It's a little harsh to drink as it is. Let's let's add some water to it. Cause Antonio said that that's what we should do. Just kidding. Okay, one drop should do. And um, we'll see if we can get some different flavor profiles. Um, see if we can open it up with that partial dilution there. I never even heard of this Wisconsin rye, but I'm um, a huge fan of small batch distilleries. I really like. Um, uh, the uniqueness and um, just the love that they put into the uh, the distilling. And I was looking on their website, they offer several different ryes, they offer bourbon, I think they, they offer a white whiskey, it could be a uh, vodka though, I'm not sure, I didn't check it. But they have uh, quite a few different products, um, their distillery in Wisconsin, they do tours, they have a restaurant there. It's, it seems like it's a pretty um, popular place in Wisconsin, although I've never been to Wisconsin, so I don't know. But, but um, so far, I'm, I'm impressed with this distillery. Um, it's, it, I like it. If I were to rate it, I'd say it's like above average. I'd say it's like uh, for a 96 proof rye, I'd say it's, it's like a seven in my book. It's not like the best rye that I've ever had. Like Pikesville is like my 10. This is no Pikesville, not even close, but it still tastes good. It tastes, I would recommend, I'd, if I bought this, I'd share it with people. I might not share the Pikesville. I only share the Pikesville with special people. So Antonio, you should feel like, you know, special because I don't share my good whiskey with, you know, random people. All right, let's go back in for the nosing since I just let it sit with a little bit of water here. Let's see if that makes a difference on any of the uh, different molecules. It, it's kind of made the smell more subtle than it originally was. Now it's, it's really hard to detect anything. The alcohol burn is, is or the alcohol like um, fumes are less strong so you can get your nose way down in there. More of just the vanilla, it's easier to smell that. Sugar and vanilla, granulated like white sugar. Simple syrup kind of thing. Let's go for another taste, cheers.
It's really strange, but every time I add water, I, it really brings out the spiciness. It's strange. Let's go for a little bit, slightly more dilution. See if we can get past the, sp the spices and get break it down further. I want to get past the spiciness and see if I can open up those. Fr it says it tastes like fruit. I'm not getting any fruit. I'm getting sweetness, spiciness, and I'm getting that minerally watery, that water, calcium, tap water flavor. And keep in mind, I drink only um, reverse osmosis water and um, filtered water. I never drink tap water, so it's very distinct when you drink tap water versus the other. It's um, really easy to tell. All right, let's go again. Hasn't changed on the nose. Let's go for uh, another taste. This is two drops now. If I were to say that it tastes like fruit, I would say it's definitely like a dried fruit. Like, maybe like an apricot or uh, yeah, probably only like an apricot, you know? Very subtle, kind of got, you know, that slight fruit taste, but not like anything strong. Very subtle. For grins, because there's not much left, let's just do one more dilution. Because I'm going to finish it off here. Let's see if that did anything. And I was reading on their site in 2017, um, they entered some kind of wine and spirit competition. Um, and they um, scored a silver medal in, um, in the competition. So, you know, obviously they're doing things right. Um, but that was two years ago. I think, you know, in this business, you got to always, you know, be on top of your game. So... We'll see where they're at on the next competition. Cheers. Now I'm just getting purely oak. It's interesting how when you add just a drop of water, how much it changes. Um, and so my final um, thought, or my summary of this rye, it tastes good, it's got an interesting flavor. Um, it's definitely above average. I would buy it. Don't know how much it sells for, but I'm sure it's affordable. Would I recommend it? I would. And um, can't thank uh, Antonio enough, Whiskey Quest. I'll link him again. And um, thank you for watching. Like and subscribe to me. Hit the subscribe button up here. Um, also hit the bell notification so you can get my email updates when I post a video and stuff. And um, yeah. Thank you for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers, and uh, catch me on the next review. I've got um, two more reviews to do. The next one is going to be the Ard Ardbeg 10-year, and the one after that is going to be Stumpy's, Stumpy's Old Monroe Wheat Whiskey. So stay tuned. I've got two more reviews to do from the samples of uh, from Whiskey Quest in my um, sample series. So... Stick around and check out those other videos. I'll post those in the next couple days. Anyhow, thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night.